Our country right now is facing all kinds of problems. That's no secret to anyone. You look around from our southern borders to our energy independence to inflation, a host of issues we're facing. In many regards, we're in the fight of our life for our country right now. But I don't know that there is any issue any greater than that of election integrity. We are a country that operates based upon the concept of the consent of the governed. Just think of that. And if ever the consent of the governed, if ever the voice of the people, particularly as that is expressed at the ballot box, if ever that voice is violated or compromised, then we're in serious trouble in this country. And so when allegations spread all across the country of irregularities, of fraudulent activity, of the voice of the people being violated or compromised, that is something that cannot be overlooked. It can't be swept under the rug. And what is the left doing about it? Well, they're trying to take over our elections on a federal level. I mean, we have bills. Literally, we're fighting bills like H.R. 1, a federal takeover of elections. Bills like H.R. 4, where uh, the government is w would, in essence, disallow states from even having the right to change their own or reform their own election laws without the consent of the federal government beforehand. These things are frightful. They take the voice of the people out of the equation and literally tip the scales of election outcomes. And when you're talking about election identification and, and securing the identification laws, you have the radical left all over the map. I mean, look recently, New York, for example, trying to make it permissible for people who are not even citizens of America to come in, register to vote, and to vote. How absurd, absolutely insane to have that kind of thinking. We're in the fight of our life for our country. This is the, the expectation of the American people. Over 80% or right at 80% of Americans want stronger voter identification laws. Nearly 70% want states and local officials to determine the election laws by which that particular state or community will operate. 90% right at uh, don't want ballot harvesting and these type of things. These are important issues to the American people if the voice of the people is not heard. Everything changes because now it is those in power tipping the scales of the results of elections for their own benefit. And with that, our freedoms are diminished or perhaps even completely taken away it is the future of our country that now rests upon the issue of election integrity, and therefore, at all costs, we must defend it, we must protect it, we must secure the sacredness of the ballot box.